I'm electric. <laughs> Print smash! I'm sorry, I came in too hot. I'm sorry. It's been a hot minute. Hello. Hello. Who am I? <laughs> <laughs> I gave him a concussion. Um, I'm sorry. And welcome to the very special video. <laughs> a video you guys have been highly anticipating. Avengers Infinity War Review. <gasps> Featuring... Build the Kid Loves. Our friend Billy! Who the hell's that? Well, why don't you, <laughs> well, well, why tell don't you, you introduce Billy. yourself, Billy? I, uh, I am Billy the Kid Lawrence, people, if you didn't know. Uh, I'm an asshole and I don't matter, so... Stop it! Give yourself some credit, Billy. We he, love you. Have, you, see, have you, you seen these people replying to me in the comments section? They all know I'm a child, an ignorant, immature child. That's you're me. older than us! What do you mean so, you're a child? Billy the Kid Lawrence has a YouTube channel of his own. Link is below. Go ahead and subscribe to him and has watch been, his stuff. Has been featured on many yeah. different plays. Mm -hmm. And is an editor for Blind Wave. I, I post every six months, people. He has <laughs> a great reputation. And he has um, a good uh, portfolio. That's oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, that's what I was looking for. Please yes, check yes. out his videos because when he does post, I love everything that he has to say and everything that he does. And he's a great friend of ours. Can't wait to see you in the fall. No. Yes. Unfortunately, we were not able to see him when the meetup happened, but mm. soon enough. Soon enough. Let's get into it. Avengers Infinity War. If you have not seen this movie, I am going to tell you guys and advise you guys, please leave now. This will be extremely spoiler heavy, and we will be spoilers. talking about spoilers as well for other shows, including The Defenders and um, Agents Marvel. of S.H.I.E.L.D. Angel Shield. Yes. yes. Baby, do you know that's worth? Ooh, I gotta say, Marvel is Angel Shield. Like, it just don't don't be sleeping on Shield, people. It's so good. It's consistently. And I'm not talking about the Shield with Michael Chiklis. I'm talking Agents of Shield. Just the consistently best show. It's amazing. Um, Avengers: Infinity War. Getting right into it. It. Also, <laughs> Why you're all really here? <laughs> the movie itself gets right into it and starts. Right where Thor Ragnarok left off, basically. Mm -hmm. Usually, like, when that title, like, sequence, when you see, like, the past stuff, like, and you do the Marvels logo and stuff, um, usually they have, like, nice, like, epic music to get you pumped up. Load into something really cool, action-packed, but obviously the heroes are winning, you know. Yeah. Age of Ultron, that was a, it's a good example. Mm hmm But this one was different. It definitely set the tone, just because it was that transmission from Thor's ship asking people for help. You just felt it in the theater, just Absolutely. like... Oh, well, you know, Asgard isn't a place, it's a people. La -di -da -di -da, happy ending. Wrong! Half of those people Actually, are dead! Actually, confirm that Valkyrie is alive. Is she is alive? Yes. Okay, because I was gonna... Okay, Confirmed Continue. by the directors. Mm. I'm confirmed about Korg, though. Yes, exactly. They're like, we're gonna leave that open. You're like, you piece of shit. Definitely Korg have... saves the day in the next movie. He <laughs> just comes in with one of those blasters. When I see Thanos for the first time? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. This guy is not to be fucked with. Because <laughs> you, you just see, like, immediately the whole ship, half the ship or whatever, the whole thing, like, destroyed. <laughs> right? And, and then Thor is already, he's holding Thor. And, because when you first see him, I'm like, I'm like, oh, that dude's not having a good, oh, that's Thor. Yeah. What the hell? Not two minutes after that, Loki's all like, we have a Hulk. And then Hulk starts beating the shit out of him, but then he just punches him like right here, and Hulk's like, eh, that yeah. hurt! <laughs> and he just takes out Heimdall, and it's yep. all in the first five fucking minutes. Like, right. It definitely it's insane. sets a precedent. Like, as soon as Loki but bit the dust, I was like, it... it it's all downhill from here, people. It like, was amazing how Heimdall was just like, fucking grab me the power one last time. Oh, and he just like gets the uh, Hulk out of there, which yeah. was amazing. I was so <laughs> sad that Heimdall died. As soon as Heimdall died, because I really liked him in the other Thor movies, oh, yeah. as soon as he died, I'm like, we, it, I, the, okay, the uh -oh. early transmission in like the movie theater, like when you see her, it's like, oh, we need help and stuff. I'm like, okay, this is going to be bad. I can tell. And then like Heimdall dies, I'm like, we are fucked. We yeah. are officially fucked. What the... What? <laughs> and then Loki's death, I kind of saw coming. Like, yeah. there was a lot of people speculating he was going to die in this one. 
and yeah. those speculations were true. So I kind of already braced myself for that one, but it was still so sad. It's it's really conflicting because it's like I I really don't want him to be dead, but I feel like it'd be really cheap if they brought him back. Absolutely. Exactly. Half of them are okay. Are got yeah, half back. of them are okay. That was what the directors confirmed that that escape pods launched before all that shit went down. Maybe we'll see some of that in Avengers Four. I honestly think that we're gonna get them on Earth, mm -hmm. um, and then you know, before he continues to live, <laughs> they'll be taking up residence on Earth. Yeah. We're making Asgard there because the people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Continue. <laughs> Okay. I also got bad vibes from like the actual title, how it looked. Oh, yeah. It wasn't like it's big fancy like lettering either. Mm -hmm. It was just literally like typed out Avengers of Video Wars. Like this shit is bad. Like. Oh yeah, and I like I liked in the uh, Marvel Studios the the ten. For, like, oh, yes. Ten, ten years. That's really cool. That I was really neat. That was Those that was classy. nice. It's like, oh, that's very sweet. Probably the only sweet thing to happen in this movie, huh? Ten, because ten people die. Wait, what? Uh, even more. More than ten. Ten was the minimum. It's like, all right, to uh -huh. be gotta get at least ten people. Oh my god. So much death. Hulk gets launched into Earth the by Hondel. Yes. And we see mm -hmm. Doctor Strange. Yeah, <laughs> real quick on uh, Hulk and Banner. Yeah. I've seen a lot. I've seen a lot of complaints like, "Oh, Banner's such a different character uh, than he was in like before Ragnarok, and he sucks in Ragnarok, <laughs> and he sucks. He sucks in this movie, and the Hulk is like too scared. Like, why is the Hulk? And and I'm sitting there like, okay, you realize that he wasn't Banner for two whole years. You realize how much that will like mess with your mind, especially." After you get back from that two year period in your head and you're thrown into the events of Ragnarok and then almost immediately the events of Infinity yeah. War. Yeah. You're not gonna have time to settle back into your normal self. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, no. I, I agree with you, Billy. I think it was I think it was natural for the way Banner acted, because he comes back in this next scene. He comes in and it's like you see him crash with Doctor Strange and Tony finds him meets up with him again and it's like, dude. It's been one crazy ride, everything that happened to Thor Ragnarok, and he's like, where's the team? We need help, because oh, like, yeah. everyone just fucking died. And he's like, team's gone. There's no team. He's just like, what the fuck? What happened to us, Kanye? So, <laughs> I agree with you, Billy, because I think he acted accordingly, and plus, Hulk had a right to be terrified, because up until he fought Thanos, Thanos killed half of Thor's ship. You know, like, the, half yeah. of their people. And... He put up a good fight. I mean, it wasn't like he was scared the whole time of Thanos. The thing is, Hulk has never faced an enemy that has actually beaten him. So soundly. So, like, soundly. Yeah. You know, he's had people Nobody. who are, like, worthy foes, like Thor, and, like, everything well, there. Abomination. Mm-hmm. Guys. Yeah, never... He's never guys feared. Have... Wait. You guys Thanos was the first one to fear, and I think they emphasize that because it's Thanos. That's the precedent they were trying to set for this yeah. movie, so it made sense why he's like, I don't want to fucking fight Thanos. You go. Good luck. <laughs> yeah, I know exactly. Sorry, I, I lost you guys for a second there. <laughs> oh, it's a... Sorry. But I, I, I heard what you are saying, though. Yeah, I feel you. Do you realize that nobody except, except Tony drew blood from Thanos in this movie? Mm-hmm. And, it, and when he did, it was a drop. Yeah. Exactly. Like... That's how powerful that guy was. Yikes. What did you think of Iron Man meeting Doctor Strange? <laughs> That's another thing. Uh, a lot of people keep saying, like, well, he's just... It's, uh, Doctor Strange is just Tony Stark, but, like, with magic, and they're, like, the same person, so it's really not going to be entertaining to see it. I'm like, no, you don't understand. Because when you see them for the first time, immediately they're button heads. Yeah. Like, they are different people. And I, I, love, I love that, you know, Tony is so obsessed with, like, saving the world, like, in his own way. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he feels responsible for, like, a lot of the things that are going on, especially with Ultron and everything. And he has this sense of, like, you know, that's what the whole, that's what Iron Man 3 was all about. Iron Man 3 was all about... There's aliens, 
There's sh there's shit beyond my mind and yeah. science that I can't comprehend, and then he just meets a wizard. <laughs> <laughs> and he's, he's, I protect your reality, douchebag. Like, <laughs> the, the, are you leaning on the cauldron of the cosmos? That's the, <laughs> the, the the banter was fucking great. It was like, amazing. Oh my yeah, god, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, I, I liked I liked that. You know, their button heads like the whole movie basically. Oh yeah, I loved that too. I love Doctor Strange in general. <laughs> but their dynamic, I think, was great. No, I totally agree. And I really liked how basically Hulk's like, "What? What are you doing? Just call him. The fa people are dying." Like, oh yeah, I'm a banner. Call yeah, it doesn't really matter who you're talking to, pal. Fuck. It's like fucking call Cap. Yeah, just like let him know what's <laughs> going on. And then how. Uh, it's great when they hear all that like noise outside and they go outside and there's the giant machine in the sky and uh oh dude yeah and uh <laughs> black dwarf and uh ebony ma just mm -hmm. they're there it's like all right could you really use the hulk right now it's just like <laughs> just, the whole time, no. dude you're there to be in front of the wizards <laughs> yeah just just like barely you see that shade of green and it just regresses <laughs> you're embarrassing us i'm oh, trying well. to man he won't he won't come out um, performance issues. It was really great, uh, the banter, and then just seeing how powerful both Ebony Ma and uh, Black Dwarf War were. And uh, something that we barely got to see in Homecoming, a little Spider-Man, Iron Man action, which was amazing. I, we all oh lost our shit yes. when, uh, when the Black Dwarf's uh, kind of like... When he, he, when he pops up? Yeah, and he's like, hey! He's like, whoa, whoa, whoa! What's up, man? <laughs> Kid, where'd you come from? Yeah. Field trip! He's like, I was on a field trip! That was such great. Ah, oh, that whole like, scene I, from the beginning. I, I, I like that Ned. Uh, Ned got a cameo. Just, right. Yeah, just a little, little scene. Can you cause a distraction? Shit, we're all gonna die. <laughs> Classic it's, Ned. Oh, oh my yeah. god, we I got, love we got that a, so gotta bring much. Up, uh, we gotta bring up Stanley. Mm. The Stanley cameo. Oh yeah, of course. it was early on too. Right? We didn't have to wait too long to get mm -hmm. it. You, you kids never seen a spaceship before. <laughs> <laughs> it's true though, like how many space New York's been attacked a lot, so Yeah. Yep. Well technically twice, but still. I just really love seeing the uh all the memes about the defenders just like are we gonna do anything about that? <gasps> oh my god Let's never talk about this. A really great yeah. moment with uh, Spider Man in the bus and then all of a sudden helping Iron Man and their Yeah. Due to the whole Black Order easily the most entertaining and best was uh Squidward. Yes. I yeah, was just about to bring that up. He <laughs> was relentless. Like, even when Black Dwarf got, like, shot, like, he got launched by Tony when he, like, shot him with this big, giant fucking cannon. Like, uh, oh, just Ebony, him Ebony Ma was like, all right, well, and I was like, okay, goodbye, brother. Let's just continue doing this. Yeah. I'm just going to stay on the objective. And they just kept fighting and just all of them trying to fight those two, trying to contain the city and, you know, yeah. also prevent him from taking the time stone. Yeah, right. Very well it's choreographed. I feel like the ideals of the Black Order aren't exactly in line with Thanos, because if you notice the entire movie, Thanos is not, he's not like, he doesn't want to kill anyone, really. He knows that he has to kill half right. the universe, mm -hmm. but he doesn't want to. But the Black Order, they fucking love killing people. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, yeah. like sure. Ebony Maw smashes Doctor Strange against the wall, and he's trying to get the necklace, but he can't, and he's, because oh, yeah. it like burns his hand, and then he, he's like, he's like, then I'll take it off your I can't connect to your Wi-Fi network. What the hell, my Google? From hey, Google! Google map under device Shut up! And what the hell? <laughs> I loved all that. that. Everything in New York was done right, and they mm -hmm. all had enough screen time to know, like, what's going on, and I'll talk about that at the end of Infinity War. Like, talking well, about Well, you're invited to my wedding. wedding. Yes! I love that! <laughs> he's, like, oh. he's like, you're invited to the wedding! And then just we got a little action too with the cape, just protecting his master, and just be like, I'm gonna save you, just launching him. Like just <laughs> carrying him away as Ebony Ma was trying to get him, and then Tony like sees him like flying away and he's like, Kid, kid, that's the wizard! Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, that's the wizard. <laughs> if Avengers 4 has a happy ending and they have Tony's wedding, long better be there. Absolutely. Long he was invited. <laughs> he was invited. Um, Strange is a plus one. <laughs> yeah, right? Um, and then a lot of us were really scared in the previews because we saw that Spider-Man was being taken up, right? 
and like, how's he going to... Yeah. And then obviously the next preview came out with him donning the suit. We weren't exactly how that was going to work necessarily. I mean, pretty, a little mm -hmm. straightforward, but like, okay, how's it exactly going to work? So we got to see that. What did mm -hmm. you think of that? Getting on his... The, the suit. You go first, Billy. Why do I have to go first? I always go first. Because I'm the host. <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> oh, sorry, what was the question? What did you think of Spider-Man? Uh, with him getting his iron spider suit and just going up into space. Dude. I, I Okay, at first, when, when I seen the previews, I was like, I was like, I don't know, that looks... I was, I was like, it lo I, I was like, the CGI is probably not finished yet, but it looks a little too, like, glossy. Mm -hmm. But then when I see it in the movie, I was like, that's fucking awesome. And then I, I wasn't, like, too sold on it, and then those legs came out, yeah. and I lost my shit. I was like, yes! Like, that's one of those moments where I, in the, in the, like, I didn't, like, scream out loud. I'll, I'll tell you my scream out loud. Yeah. I'll tell you my scream, scream out loud moment. But uh, I, I kind of whispered, I was like, that's, that's so cool. Yeah. He so screamed out loud, for sure, in the theater. <laughs> I would know, because I sat next to him. <laughs> yes, he's well, I, I just, I just love how, how much Peter, like, has to be tr constantly proving himself to Tony. Tony as his, Tony as his father figure. His wool. You know? <laughs> I, <laughs> but yeah, like, <coughs> the, the suit was awesome, and when those legs came out, I so I lost it. Man. I lost it. It was amazing. Um, just seeing him in the suit, just he like was way too high in the atmosphere and just does that like he falls and like Tony catches him by launching that suit that he prepared for him. So good, yeah. Oh, it was yep. beautiful. And then he's like, Alright, go home and then he's launched. <laughs> yeah, the get out of here. He's like, Alright, go home. He's like, No <laughs> yeah. and we're like, Oh, I guess we're not gonna see him. And then he stays. He sneakity sneaks onto that ship. Because uh, they should have stayed on the bus. Mm-hmm. They were chasing after because the at that point Ebony Ma captured the unconscious Doctor Strange, Strange. and right. they had the time stone at that point. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. So that leads us. That's into. that's uh, one of my fa favorite things that I've been wanting to see since the first Avengers is to see the Avengers in space. Yes. And I, I still want I still want a scene where they're all together like on a like space station or something. <coughs> but I I don't think that's gonna happen realistically yet, but I want to see that. Like, I just them being in space is so cool to me. That's and I, I I, didn't think... I thought a majority of, like, the big Thanos fight was going to be on in Wakanda, mm -hmm. but it was it was mostly on Titan, and I was yeah. so jazzed about it. That was seriously amazing. That was really good. Yeah. Um, so, we'll speaking of people that were going to be on Titan, uh, we get introduced for this movie to the Guardians of the Galaxy responding to the distress signal from the Asgardians. Yeah, they, I liked how like it kind of took a <laughs> step back and went back to like the lightheartedness of Guardians, and like I love that it's like <laughs> all the title cards showing you places in <laughs> space, huh? and you hear the music and you immediately know who it is. Yep. Yes. Uh, exactly. That was our theater hey too. Pay like, pay yourself for the rubber band, man. Oh man! Everyone was having a good time. Like, all right, this is the last lighthearted moment. We're gonna have this movie. Oh Enjoy it. But it was classic. It was classic <laughs> for them. And then they ended up sailing into the wreckage of uh, Thor's ship after Thanos demolished it. Mm -hmm. And then <gasps> they find Thor. There he is. Oh God! Wipe us! Wipe us! <laughs> Get it off! <laughs> this is a man. You. This is not a dude. What are you talking about, Quill? You're one sandwich away from fat. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I, obviously we got a little taste of um, them being introduced to each other in the preview, but it was amazing seeing them all on the screen together. And just like you were saying, um, you, don't, yeah. you, you don't even really need an introduction to know that the Guardians are coming. It's just become so uh, classic now. Mm-hmm. That's yeah, like, that's it's, it's a classic shot. So it was really cool to see all that, and obviously how the Guardians have their little banter mm -hmm. with Thor, Peter getting jealous. The, um, yeah, the that was, fu funniest. Sorry, go ahead. No, um, yeah, no, we can talk more about the uh, the humor. That was, that was good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Iron Angel. 
Because that's part of the Guardians. They are more lighthearted, so they kept that yeah. humor in. The funniest thing is Star Lord trying to imitate oh. Thor. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody was losing oh their God. shit in our theater. You are not taking our pod today, sir. Are you? You making your voice deeper? No, I'm not. <laughs> he just did it again. <laughs> <laughs> also, I I love Star Lord. Don't get me wrong, but Mantis is like my new favorite character ever. So, oh, yeah, no, it's she's so adorable. I love her. I love their banter. They kept like what did they call Thor? A uh, pirate, pirate angel. angel. Yeah. It's like a pirate and a baby. <laughs> I forget what exactly he said. He's, like, he's like a pirate and an angel. angel. Yes. <laughs> um, that was so great, honestly. What I really like. Yeah. Um, no, go ahead. I'm going to finish this. Oh, I was, was going to say Thor just keeps calling Rocket Rabbit. Yes! yes! He's, he's like, Absolutely. thank you, Rabbit. And he's like, Rabbit. And he like, just doesn't. He doesn't correct him. He's like, sure. But the thing is, what's great about it, too, is I noticed, like, because I watched the movie twice, and um, in a span of 24 hours, mind you. Um, I watched it last night in my bedroom in a totally legal way. Absolutely. 100%. <laughs> yeah. I loved that if Peter were to call him, like, he doesn't like it being addressed, like, it, like, Rocket doesn't like being acknowledged as, like, an animal figure. Yeah. Like, he gets really offended like that. Yet... He allowed Thor to keep calling him Rabbit. Yes. He wasn't his usual like, "Hey, I ain't no rabbit." Yeah. And like he wasn't doing his usual like tenacity Thor, of like Thor's a god, man. Yeah, he's god. He gonna do that. Um, but <laughs> trash panda. Trash panda. Uh, as much as I, I love the humor and getting um, like to see them the Guardians again, um, it was a great mix of tones because um, when Thor is like, "Yeah, you." Captain, I'll take you with me. <laughs> he takes, uh, he takes, Rocket. He takes Rocket and Groot along with him to go to the star. Um, and just having that kind of reflection, because just as you said earlier about um, Hulk having no time to really uh, gather himself, Thor mm -hmm. didn't really have any time to gather himself. He's like, mm, my father's yep. dead, my sister was fucking evil, and, just, and I... Just, the Warriors 3. Yeah, the, the, my friends are dead. I took, Where the hell is Sif? Right. I don't know. Where is Just Sif? Maybe on Earth. Loki, Guardians of the Loki banished her. Age of Shield, I mean. when, he, um, when Loki was pretending to be Odin, he banished her. I don't know. And she's on Earth, and she'll appear in Marvel, Age of Shield. She'll help. <laughs> yeah, she'll help stop Graviton. Yes. There we go. Um, but yeah, Thor barely had any time. Uh, all that stuff happened to him. He's like, all right, Asgard's gone. Like the thing that he's gone back to every time. You know, as much mm. time as he spends everywhere else, obviously that's his home. So that's gone. Um, and then all of a sudden, <laughs> half his uh, people get killed, and his brother dies right in front of him when he was just turning over a new leaf. You know, the dude uh, has no, had no time to mourn. Exactly. So, getting that little moment, that human moment, you could say, um, between Rocket and Thor, basically just saying, you know, I don't have anything to lose. Like, let's just go and do this. Like this. He's like, I need this hammer. Yes, I need this. Yep. And uh, it was great moment between them and then Rocket as it comes very sadly to a realization he says I do I have a lot to lose mm, yeah. and he did but um Tear. so so um you know they they take off to the star mm -hmm. um and then uh everyone else is heading to nowhere exactly yeah they're going to nowhere um yep. so that leads us to then uh Wanda and Vision they oh. are where were they they were somewhere <laughs> I, I just want to say I love how balanced this movie felt with all these characters, even though like you go half an hour without seeing one character. I was going to comment something, hour. too, about yeah. that. Absolutely. Like, everyone said like what they really didn't like about it. It's like, some people comments are like, this movie was too, like, it didn't give the characters enough screen time, and they didn't have enough room for character development. And I kind of tilted my head, like, well... They had 10 years of character development. You want to yeah. know how they are, watch their movies. Yeah, you know, the, only, uh, the only character who really didn't get much characters, I guess, were like Cap and his people. Mm -hmm. but, right. but I feel like they will in the next movie. And, you know, th what they did get was awesome. By the way, one of the best shots of the entire movie, I know it's a little later in the movie, is... 
I'll t I'll do it when we get there. Sorry. Okay. All I'll, right. I'll do I'll do it when we get there. No worries. So, I I agree with you too about the whole character development thing. I'll talk more about that at the end too. Well, um, just uh, coming off what you were talking about with character development, um, you know, some people may argue that oh, it jumps around a bunch. Well, the the problem with that is that we've been to everybody everywhere they jumped around. You know, mm -hmm. we've been to Wakanda. We've been in space with gu the Guardians. We've been in nowhere with the Guardians. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of the places that they've been to have already been fleshed out. So it's yep. That's, yeah, that's the, I, that's what I think. It's like they're and plus in this kind of a movie where it's been built up for years. Like we've mm -hmm. known for six years that Thanos is coming. Right. And yep. we've known this for six years, and even so, we still had individual movies for all these amazing characters on what they like. Like two hour and a, like two and a half hour movies explaining what they like, what their morals are, what they stand for, who they protect, who they care about, and what they live for, and what their mission is. So there really isn't a lot of room for that since it would explain pretty smartly, actually. Smart. Oh my god. I can't. Intelligently. Intelligently. You know, giving them their own movies so when it came to this movie, you didn't need those questions and answers because you came in like... I know exactly why they're doing this. Oh, I know exactly why this is going on. Like, I'm with you. Yep, and they developed almost every Infinity Stone already, except for the Soul Stones in this one. Which, um, you could say they were. And wouldn't. the, uh, are we in agreement that the Collector is dead? I think he's dead. He's dead. He's dead. Everybody keeps saying he's alive. I'm like, no. No he's, way. If he's alive, then he probably fled somewhere to find his brother, the Grandmaster, but... Pretty damn sure he's dead. I'm pretty sure he's dead too. So, um, we go into Wanda and Vision, and they've been kind of away from the team for a while. Mm -hmm. Um, I think, oh, we'll go right into it, kind of. So, we saw how powerful uh, Black Dwarf could be with how um, physically intimidating he can be. On the other side, we see Ebony Maul with how uh, how much of a prowess he has for, it seems like, telekinetic, I'd say. Mm -hmm. Something like that, where he's able to just move stuff, you know? Yep. Um, so we get their formidability, and then we get to see uh, Proxima Midnight and Corvus Glaive show off how powerful they can be. Yeah, while they're trying to get the stone off of Vision, Vision. which everyone was dreading. So, yeah, what do yeah. you guys think about uh, how they set the tone with them coming out and just, you know, fighting both of them, taking them on, really? They're one of the most powerful Avengers. Two of the most powerful Avengers have taken them on. I think it took... What the thing why they had the upper hand is because it took them by surprise. Because they were caught up in isolation, trying to just be with each other. They didn't even see it coming. They they saw that news article that New York was attacked like right. few seconds before they just like boom were attacking Vision. Mm. So they were caught yeah. off guard and they were so surprised. I was, I was kind of mad. I was like enjoying this little like romance going on between yeah. the two of them, and yeah. then they just <laughs> fuck your date. <laughs> Y'all are dying. And I just, I don't know. I love those two together. Yep. Like, he's, he, he, it's weird, because he's, he's this weird amalgam of every, like, Ultron, Jarvis, uh, Stark, mm -hmm. like, the Mind Stone, like, and, but he's one of the best characters, like, and he's one of the, Weirdly, most human characters too. Mm -hmm. It's it's bizarre. Like absolutely, absolutely. It just tore and me apart she, seeing them try to she, fight off everyone and just like it, holy yeah. shit, they're after the stone and Wanda's doing everything she can to like protect them. Mm -hmm. And Vision's like, no, please just leave me. They we knew this was coming anyways. Yeah, because like, they had a feeling we need to go. Like just leave. And she's like, I'm not leaving you. It's like Jesus, this is horrible to watch. And it makes perfect sense that she is the one kind of attracted to him, too, because her powers came from the Mind Stone activating oh. her and her brother. Right, exactly. Yep. Exactly. So, yeah. um, full circle, baby. Full circle. Yeah. I also want to see a Vision Scarlet Witch movie that's a rom-com, so haters gonna hate. Haters gonna hate. Yeah, we get to see that moment, and then we get to see it kind of taken away by uh, them two showing how powerful and how powerful their weaponry is. But... In all of that you battle, get one of the coolest shots ever. Coming up. We get through the train. Yes. The Woo! shadow. And everybody knows, like, oh my god, this is it. Staff gets thrown, fucking, fucking catches it. 
fucking Captain America. Entrance. Walks out of the shadows and it's just like, oh my god, just picturing that Look right at now. My shirt. I have a Captain America shirt. Honestly, I saw the movie twice. Even though I knew it was coming, I still got so pumped for Captain. I'm like, there's my Captain America, and I was like, he just cheering catches him with that the thing. audience again. I'm like, this is fucking sick. So um, it really mm, the shows beard. to you know obviously they've been been a team, mm -hmm. um, Cap, Black Widow, and uh, Falcon. Just really shows how much coordination and how much physical prowess they have in order to actually fend off those two because of how much trouble they were giving Vision and Scarlet Witch. So I, I thought I was like, geez, man, like what happened? They just were wrecking them. Um, and they had, to, yeah. they, had, they had to retreat. So just like you were saying, um, not too much uh, <coughs> really insight of what they've been doing, but you can tell that they've been on, they've been through some shit. <laughs> that's what that's what we can tell. Yeah. Cap's yeah. physical prowess is going to come into the a scene that I really like later. <sighs> so actually we get to see General Ross, which is really surprising to me. Yeah, oh, I didn't think he'd be in it. such a dick. Yep. Well, yeah, but... <laughs> I'm sorry, the fate of the world is at stake. Let's arrest these people who have saved it countless times. No, precisely. I agree. Like, fuck you, dude. Um, I was, hope you die. It was really good to see Rhodey, like, you know. <laughs> I wish they would have showed him fading away. Oh. Cool. Right? That would have been the only death would be like, alright. <laughs> alright, why not? Um, uh, you were saying, Rhodey? No, it was really cool to see Rhodey to, uh, like, you know, kind of accept, you know what? I made a, I, I made a mistake. You guys are here and it helps. We're going to need you now more than ever. So um, that was really cool. And then obviously we see kind of the uh, Hulk and Black Widow. Reunion. Quote unquote reunion. Um, they didn't get a lot of reunion time, but like I said, they, they released an official statement. If they didn't get a lot of screen time in the first movie, which is understandable, they'll get it in the next one. Exactly. <laughs> which so now we know why. Hopefully we'll see them a little Maybe. bit more. So we got that, and then we're also trying to figure out, like, okay, well, we know Thanos is coming. They were after Vision once. He barely survived. Let's try to remove the stone from Vision so we don't kill him. Well, who do we um, know who can do that? Let's go to Wakanda. Well, what a great scene between him and Cap. Just like how you were saying, um, his humanity. Mm. Um, Cap, you know, he says, like, there's a choice. There's always a choice. And, like... Um, we don't trade lives, Captain. We don't, yeah, we don't trade lives. Exactly. Um, that, that was a great callback. It, precisely. So just seeing how much he's grown, how they both grown as characters, and having yep. to be able to have that legitimate conversation with each other really spoke volumes about how much they, how far they've gone. Yeah. Um, and damn it, this movie's good. It's, it's, it's so, so good. good. Um, so just on that little note, uh, we'll return back to Doctor Strange being kind of tortured by Ebony uh, Ma. Ebony Ma in space. Oh. Yep, also Hawkeye was not in the movie. Haters got you. Right. Yes. yes. He is with his family. Who may be half that wasn't dead. In, that wasn't like to you guys. His family his family's half dead. Oh. I bet. <laughs> no. That'd be so upsetting. I know. Alright, um, back to spice. So, uh really uh obviously teasing the previews, but uh the two main teases for Stone were taking it from Strange and Vision. So seeing Strange tortured, thing he Strange based on what he's been through, he's like, I made a vow, I can't give up the Time Stone under any circumstances, I can't do it. And find like he's like resisting. Ebony Maul's like torture, like with the glass, he's poking him, he's resisting. And then just seeing Tony and Spider-Man and the Cape all work together. Yeah, you know, just uh You ever see that really old movie Aliens? I love that. I, I love, love it. that. Um, an amazing, amazing showcase of the legs again, helping him out. Um, oh, the legs are so cool! What, what a really amazing callback again to like another amazing movie. Um, and I, I didn't think he was dead, but I'm like, oh, he's gone. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, no, yeah. when he got, Ebony Ma got launched into space. Launched into space. I was like, yeah, is he? I was like, that's okay. I mean, obviously. Goodbye, the, Squidward. Obviously, the uh, focus wasn't on them, but they were still formi formidable. Obviously, Thanos yeah. is the main villain, mm -hmm. and they're, they're just there to be, you know, henchmen, but, you know, they did a really good job. Yeah. Damage um, was done by them. Exactly. That's so takeaway. They, uh, they free Doctor Strange with the cape, um, and just like we were talking about, like, 
it was just your ward, and they're having their constant back and forth. And honestly, I was just like telling Brittany, like, they can't kill one of them off. It's just, no. This is what we get, and it's going to go away. I don't want it. I, just, I, I loved it when, there's just the, everyone loved when Peter's like, oh, I'm Peter, by the way. He's like, oh, I'm Doctor Strange. She's like, oh, we're using our hero names. Well, I'm Spider-Man. I love it. I love how, obviously, he's not going to, like, he doesn't address Peter disrespectfully. I think that was... Mm -hmm. I think that was cool. Obviously, you know, Tony and him are going to butt heads. Um, but yeah, so they kind of make the plan to just, like, let's ride this out. We're like, we're gonna this go is our to advantage. Titan. We're going to go to Titan. We're going to ride this ship on back. There's no way we can bring... Because Thanos will be coming for your stone anyway, so let's take the fight to him and make sure it does, he doesn't go back to Earth. To take the fight to him. Exactly. So, uh, actually, so we should lead into when they land. Um, Guardians, uh, after being separated from Thor... Um, Rockin' and Groot, having an amazing, heartfelt, and then hilarious moment. There was a great, like, you see Gamora, because everyone was curious, because, you know, Thanos is her quote-unquote father, yes. adopted, but <coughs> just that conversation, it had, it was traditional Guardians of the Galaxy, they tackle serious, like, subjects, and then they balance it with their humor because exactly. it's the guardians and so you have this really deep conversation with Gamora and Peter and they have that conversation I'm like oh this is heavy foreshadowing yep this is heavy foreshadowing no nope, well, I'm gonna deny it and them actually showing affection for each other because was it wasn't clear within the two movies well what is clear I think is that there's been a significant time jump mm -hmm. because in between guardians uh, and guardians volume two was only four years yeah yeah it's been a significant time jump so Seeing this is kind of new for us, but it's a really nice change. Um, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> they love each other, but they didn't define the relationship yet. Right. I'd say second funniest moment was invisibility. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> How long have you been staying in there? <laughs> An hour. An hour. <laughs> I, I, I love it. I okay. become invisible. And then, I love how it's not... Hi, Drax! Yeah, that, that right. It. Exactly. That's the moment where he's like, oh, fuck. <laughs> it's like, what? Right. Uh, so, and then we go to the, the uh, really, like, unique uh, set piece of Nowhere. Mm-hmm. What did you think about, so you mentioned the collector, what did you think about that performance and that kind of scene in a whole, because it was a little different, because obviously he's, you know, reality. Mm -hmm. I was sad that the collector was kind of gone. Yeah. I like I liked the performance. <laughs> I thought it was funny. Because it it's this sad, traumatic thing for her when she kills Thanos. Yeah. And, and she, she like stabs him and she's crying. She's distraught over this. And then he's like, Magnificent! <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. He just it's, slow claps it and he's just like... Yeah. And I'm just like... That was pretty awesome. I just remember sitting in the theater watching that. Like, she had this big moment, and just even Drax, just what it took, because he's eyeing Thanos, like, he killed my wife and daughter. I'm like, no, no. Yeah. And, like, they finally, like, um, yeah. got him down, and Mantis, like, knocked him out. And they're like, oh, shit. And then leading up to, they killed Gamora, killed Thanos. I'm sitting there in the theater like this, arms spread out, like... He ain't dead. I don't know how, but he ain't dead. He's yeah. gonna look up. And I didn't, for some reason, I didn't register, like, holy shit, he has the reality stone now. Um, He's already gotten this shit. So, actually, speaking to what you were talking about, how he doesn't want to kill anybody, obviously he has to, mm -hmm. in his mind. He could have straight up killed um, Mantis and Drax. They didn't have to come back. He didn't have to reform <gasps> yeah, them. Yeah, oh I, my god. I did not think they were going to. I yeah, mean, exactly. Either. I'm like, oh my god, that's it? And then Blocks they. Locks and ribbons. And, okay. and then, and then uh, Peter does the hard choice, pulls the trigger. Even though it was Nothing bubbles, happens. like he was going to honor that for Gamora. Exactly. Oh, which, dude, I, thought, I thought she was about to die. Yeah, I was like, yeah. wow. And then, so just like you were saying, you're absolutely right. He just pulls it on his head, like, I'm just going to take Gamora. Bye. It's like, okay. And everything's back to normal. Everything, well, at least then, Mantis and Drax are back to normal, but everything's on fire because he destroyed it. Which. 
I will say that's one thing I would want to see more was him. Uh, you know, you can only fit so much into a movie. I wish they would have shown him destroying Xandar and in, in Nowhere. Cause that yeah, because yeah. he mentioned, like, Xandar and Nowhere. He like, just has the purple one. He's like, yep, I killed him. He's like, Jesus. <laughs> uh, oh. Dude, I just remember being in the movie theater and just when we first see Drax and Mantis die, I remember I screamed because I love the Guardians. Absolutely. And like, I screamed, like, no! And it's like, it's just Peter! Rock the. the oh my god, Rocket and Groot, they don't know that they yeah. all just die! And I was like already crying, and then all of a sudden they're like coming back together. I'm like, oh sweet um, Jesus, thank okay, god! Um, so, for the second half or whatever this review is going to be a different angle and quality for me because my camera just died and I don't back up because I suck, so. I'm sorry. That's okay. So. Um, <laughs> I need to turn my phone soon. Uh, All right. Um, okay. Anyways. Uh, <sighs> Thanos. Yeah, so actually. We just talked about how much. Sorry, go ahead. No, that's a perfect segue. If you want to go into Thanos uh, taking, um, you know, Taking Nebula and talking mm. about, um, you know, that he, he, she almost killed her. He even admits it. Or him. She almost killed him. Nebula. Um, yeah, I just wanted to say Thanos, uh, the Guardians of the Galaxy, the whole ending of Guardians of the Galaxy was save Xandar, and now it's just. Yeah, um, right? Yes, exactly. Like John C. Riley and his kids and his wife are gone. They did. Oh my god! I mean, maybe like, we, we, we can hope they maybe lived, but yeah. they're probably dead. Um, That's upsetting. Um, and Thanos is an idiot, by the way, but we'll get more into that. Yes. <clears throat> but, so, he uses Nebula, which obviously is his uh, least favorite uh, child. child. And, uh, oh, yeah, he his... makes it a point that Gamora is his favorite. Dude. Yeah, no, absolutely. He, he says, in Guardians of the Galaxy, he says, You alienated my favorite daughter, Gamora. And Nebula's all like, Dad! Dad! We do dad! But, uh, <laughs> so, you know, tortures her to try to get Gamora to reveal the location of the Soul Stone. And then so we go to, who, Vandermeer? I think it was called? Do you recall the, the planet they had to go to for the Soul Stone? Star Planet? I'm gonna go with Vandermeer. <laughs> it's Planet Star. Starfire? Far, fire. But, <laughs> so, um, that leads us, actually, what did you think of them bringing everything full circle and bringing in Red Skull again? Oh. Sorry. For some reason, I thought we were talking about Peter Dinklage playing it. Sorry. Oh, we're, we're, we're getting that. That's next. Yeah. That's next. Vormir. That's what Vormir. Vormir. Ah, yes. Talk about Vormir. Okay. Dude. <laughs> Red Skull. Oh, my God. You know, I had hopes that he would be somewhere yeah. in these two movies. Right. And they're like, by the way, he's just been chilling in space for 70 years. Yeah. <gasps> just protecting this damn soul stone because he got fucked up by it somehow. I guess it... Yeah. Does he have a soul anymore? Probably not. I think yeah. he's just suffering at this point because he said he's been trapped there for so he, long. I think he's just he, suffering like... It's his punishment for trying to mess with one of the stones. Yep. And, like, even when Thanos, like, acquires a new stone, you see him physically, like, oh, struggle yeah. a little bit. Yep. And so Red Skull was originally a human, but he was experimented on, right? He was a... Uh, he couldn't soldier. take the super stone. Super soldier. He couldn't take the stone because he didn't love anything? Is that what I was gathering? Um... He couldn't take the soul stone? Yeah. Yeah, no, he couldn't take that. No, he couldn't. He's, yeah. he's just trapped. Yeah, no, he, he can't do anything. He just has the knowledge. Dude, it was so cool, though. I, yeah. Like, that reveal. Because oh. you're just like, there's this shadowy figure, and it's like, obviously it was a cool. different actor. Because yeah. Because I think, yeah. uh, what is it, what's it, you know, It's Ross Marquand. Mm. Or Quand, or Quand, or whatever. It's the, uh, Aaron from The Walking Dead. Wow. Yeah. That's really impressive. He, because he does. That's what he does. Uh, like, oh, he does really voices. Good. Yeah. He does good impressions of yeah. like a lot of people. I and saw so that. They were actually. like, "Can you do Hugo Weaving?" Yeah, because so. Hugo Weaving for many years has been stating that I did it. I don't want to do anything else. And yeah, I think they. I, he didn't like, like the makeup. 
Even though they could just CG it, but whatever. Yeah. I liked that they did it just him. Like, you could tell it's a different actor, but yeah. they, it still did its justice. He Absolutely. carried it still, too, from what the original, like, actor who did Red Skull in Captain America, the first one, it carried over, and he was like, yeah, no, I fucked up all those years ago when I tried to take care of the stone, and now I am stuck. And he's just like, I just, I'm so impressed that, that they kept that under wraps. I'm like, right. there was no indication that Red Skull was going to be in it. Absolutely. There was no hint of, like, who Dude. was playing Red Skull. Nothing. And it was just like, holy shit, he's here. Yeah. Um, what does he say? He's like, I'm ready, and he's like... Thanos says I'm ready, and he's like, we all think that at first. And yep. <laughs> and, and, I, and I thought, I swear, because I thought it was going to be death. I was like, oh shit, they're going to bring death into this. Lady death. And, see and then, then he starts talking, and I'm like, why do I know that voice? And then, holy shit. That yeah. was the most, I didn't scream or anything in that, and I didn't whisper. I just went like this in my seat. I went, shh. <laughs> <Like, laughs> oh, no. Everyone like, in our theater screamed. That's Red School. Yeah. Uh, he launched himself, he's like, Red Skull! And I'm like, I like, if we had those chairs where you could lean back in them, so I just kind of went, oh, and everyone was cheering, everyone was clapping, yep. everyone, oh, that was so great. Absolutely. So beautiful. Um, wow. All right, amazing moment, um, followed by, which I didn't think happened. I, I watched, I watched Thanos throw Gamora down, and I was like, this isn't real. <sighs> This isn't the, yeah, the, the, that whole them showing up on Vormir to that to the end of that scene where she bites it. Favorite scene in the whole movie. Loved it. Oh, it's amazing. I it's was a sobbing best. mess during I, that. Movie. I was so stone faced. I'm like, this isn't real. Nope. I didn't believe. Get, I still don't believe it. Honestly, it's weird. <laughs> Brittany, do you do you get as emotionally audible? in the theater as you do in reaction. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, yes and no. I the thing is we're in a public pl like when I'm in yeah. my room and stuff, we're doing this on the channel. Obviously, yeah. I'm free to be my true self. You know, gotcha. like it doesn't matter. Like I can be as emotional as I want cuz that's just who I am. You know, mm -hmm. I'm a overtly emotional person and I don't have any fear of like showing that. But in a yeah. theater, I need to try to suppress that. I had a very hard time suppressing that. In this movie, because I just remember seeing her, and I told everyone, like, she's my favorite guardian. Like, everyone's, like, asking each other outside the theater, like, oh, who are your favorite characters? Okay, oh. out of everyone from this movie, who's your favorite? Out of the guardians, who's your favorite? Who's your favorite Avenger? And I'm like, oh, Gamora's my favorite. And then just Damn. watching Thanos drag her, I was already crying. He didn't even throw her yet, and I was sobbing. And Gargana and Alex, they're both like, it's okay, it's okay. And Avalon oh, and Joey, we went and saw the movie with them. So they brought tissues, and they're all like passing it down. down. <laughs> and I'm just like, Alex, he lifted up his little cup holder seat. He's like, baby, it's okay. And I'm like trying, like, I'm holding my mouth like this, sobbing, like, <laughs> But it's Damn. dead silent in the theater. No one else seems to be as upset as I was <laughs> during this scene. So I'm like, like shaking. I'm like, I'm not, I don't want to cause a scene for everyone else in this theater and ruin their experience. But I was suffering for quite a few minutes after that scene. And we're in the next scene with Thor. And I'm just like, I still can't. Yes. I'm. Oh yeah, God. dude. They move, that movie moves pretty damn fast. Yeah. Um. So, so shall we? Um, just like you were saying, uh, Rocket, Groot, and Thor restarting the star with Peter Dinklage. Peter Dinklage is a giant! The best irony yeah. ever! I was so like, true. wait, is he a giant? No, he's a dwarf. He's a dwarf giant. He's the king of dwarves. He's a What's going giant on? dwarf. <laughs> that was beautiful. So contradicting. It, it was so um, it was amazing. Everyone cheered in their theater whole, when he came on, too. Yeah. The whole scene with him I love the scene mm -hmm. him, the whole the whole thing with them making the hammer and everything um I thought it went on a little too long mm. like you could have cut it down but it was still fucking great yeah uh, I see what you're saying cause like they could have started the star like a little faster mm -hmm. did, little... did you did oh. you notice uh did you notice what when Thor's holding the thing and uh He's like running to do the handle or whatever. You notice what he says? What do you say? He says, "Hold the door." <gasps> I see. Yeah. 
Sneaking that Game of what Thrones a, reference a in reference. there. Wow. I didn't hear that because I was too in awe of like everything that was going Boy, on. He's getting burned. It was insane watching Thor like do that. It was amazing. The intense <laughs> scene. So intense you don't notice the reference. Yeah. And then uh, Groot sacrifices his arm. Yeah. Now, okay. This this is my this is when I screamed. This is the one moment when like, everybody's quiet and they're all kind of like, oh, that's yeah. when he does that and he. Goes, <coughs> And it like pops it off. I go, that's so fucking cool. <laughs> As lo I lost it. Oh, it was the best thing in the world. That was seriously best thing. amazing. No, absolutely. And but oh my god, just building it and it's building up and just I gotta applaud Peter Dinklage. I again, that was another one. I'm like, there was no indication he was gonna be in it. He there was no one leaked that the actor was gonna be in it because he's a big actor, you know. Like Absolutely. he's a, such a well known actor. The fact that that wasn't leaked, well done. Mm -hmm. Yeah, everybody keeps talking about oh like well if Thanos had the gauntlet in the other movies and post credit scenes and there was one on Asgard, but he said that he had forced this guy to make it. That's continuity error. I'm like. Well, if you really read between the lines and kind of pay attention, no, it's not. But also, who fucking cares? Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. Um. I think it made sense that Thanos would spare him. Because like we said, he's not the one who wants to kill. That's not his... Yeah. He wants... He th the thing is with Thanos, he truly believes in his mind. He's saving everyone. Yeah. That's the Absolutely. thing. Oh, exactly. That's his whole mindset. Can, uh... Can we, can we talk about how Thor now has <laughs> oh, raccoon, we... raccoon oh. ass DNA in his eye? That was still bad oh. seeing him with the different colored eyes, but good, he's like, you should have seen where I had to store it. It's like, I had to if shove he it up my... a god, that would be very bad. Yes. It's good, <laughs> good having him have two eyes, though. I'm glad they did that. The whole eye, the whole eye thing with Rocket paid off. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Um, so then we'll get to the part where one of those surprising parts to me was when um, Peter, uh, Doctor Strange, and Tony all crash land the ship, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden, pff, who comes bursting yes. in? Oh. You see Star Lord with his guns. Uh, what an amazing scene to where we get. As tried and true, always have heroes have to fight each other. But, um, yep. So we get to see uh, the Guardians and uh, Spider Man, Iron Man, mm -hmm. Doctor Strange go at it a little bit. Yep. And then uh, they're all like, I'll, I'll kill your guy. I'll kill your guy. It's like, Blanket of Death. And then, what was it that he said? It just, yes. The, I, the Gamora thing? No, 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 no. Before that, that. I, I know that tried and true because that is my favorite part. But before that, he's like, where are you from? I'm from Michigan. That's Earth, dumbass, or something. <laughs> like, that was oh, yeah. amazing. Like, what master do you serve? What, what am I supposed to say, Jesus? <laughs> and and Spider-Man's like, ah, please don't put your eggs in me. And, <laughs> oh, yeah. And then he points the thing. And he's like, you pull my, like, you pull up my guy, I'll shoot yours. And... And he's, he's like, it's okay. Do it, Quill. I can take it. He's like, no, you can't. Take it. Uh, it was amazing. That was thing. a great interaction. And then we get the, yeah. So Iconic. He's like, tell me, where's Gamora? I'll do you one better. Who is Gamora? I'll do you one better. Why is it? <laughs> 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 it doesn't. Oh. Oh, beautiful. I, I think, love. yeah. I don't, okay, I noticed during this review, I start doing this more because you do it. Um, mm, mm, all the finest. Um, <laughs> so, that, honestly, that was my favorite, the, the funniest scene, but mm -hmm. that made me laugh. <laughs> Everybody in the theater was losing it. It oh was amazing. Oh my god. Um, so. And then they team up at the end, they all realize, like, none of them are working for Thanos, and they're like, okay, yeah, well... Nice. They're like, well, we're on our way to stop them at the source. And they were like, well, excellent, because they took our girl. So we're going to join you in this yep. fight. So they team up. We're like, yeah, yep. all right. We have more, like, power and shit. We're going to go to Titan, mm -hmm. and we're going to confront Thanos. Of course everything will go well. So um, 
we have the Battle of Titan mm -hmm. uh, going on, while well, the Battle of Khan is going on. Mm -hmm. um, just seriously, like, amazing. Yeah, yeah, totally. Me meanwhile. Let's, let's start with the Battle of Titan, then we'll go to Wakanda. Okay. Um, so, the Battle on Titan, uh, like, <sighs> such great um, inter interactions with powers oh, yeah. and... Uh, team ups mm -hmm. like I, I love I love when Star Lord and Doctor Strange are interacting. Yeah, he's running on his little projections, making mm -hmm. platforms, and then when he's like, mm -hmm. <laughs> he he's like jumps. boom, boom. boom. <laughs> oh, before I loved the foreshadowing too. We'll get to it later, but the foreshadowing before Thanos showed up on Titan, when um, Doctor Strange looked. Through like 14 oh million different gosh. endings. Right. He's like, I use the time zone to look at 14 million something different outcomes of how this is going to go. And Tony's like, so how many times how do we many? win? And he looks and he goes, one. And so I made nice. a joke in the theater and I leave it over to Gargan and I'm like, so yeah. you're saying there's a chance. Oh, I thought you were going to say, tell never tell me the chance. odds. Oh, <laughs> I should have done and that, like, but I liked my... Jim Carrey joke. It, no, they're, they're both of, fantastic. Out of 14 million, only one will they win. Only one will they pick names, take ass. Yes! I <laughs> love that line. See, that's what I love um, about the Guardians, because up until, you know, the end, they kept their humor alive, and they kind of... They, they're... Because they were... This is so new for them. They're like, oh, we're still going to be hilarious. Like, boom, bit, like, flipping you off, like, yeah. skadoosh, and, like... Uh, just Woo! keeping that there as they're fighting. It's like, that's totally the Guardians. Ha, 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 ha. So, uh, back to the... Just a callback. All right. Anyway, so um, well, um, keeping it in now. An uh, amazing, right. um, just an amazing showcase of the stones. Mm. Um, first of all, reality stone showing him what, showing them what Titan used to look like. Mm. Ooh, what else? Well, I want to say, this is the part where I want to say Thanos is an idiot mm. because they they get so close, you know, to getting that thing off of them. Mm -hmm. And it's really cool with Spider-Man webs in the face. Um, yeah. Uh, but they, they shouldn't have even been able to get that far. Because mm. he has the reality stone. He keeps making main use of the power stone when he can do anything. Yeah. He shouldn't... They should not have been able to get as far as they did. He's a dumbass. No, <laughs> well, that's also what I think earlier, but too. I still, like... But I, I still love him. He's <gasps> I think he's still a formidable villain because, like, I, I had that same thing too. I'm like, why didn't you just use reality show to do this, this, this? But, like, at the same time, it's like, again, he's not trying to kill them at this point. Mm -hmm. He could have, initially, he could have done anything. Mm -hmm. Easily could have killed them. He's just trying to get the stones. And if you happen to be in his way and he has to kill you, then fine. Yeah. But I didn't really see him kill <clears throat> anyone until the. Well, except um, the Collector and Loki, Loki and stuff, but Loki did that. Yeah, and he got in his way. Okay, and then, yeah, he did do it to Heimdall. Scratch what no, I no, said. No, no, Corvus, Corvus Glaive kills Heimdall. Oh, Corvus Glaive. Okay, sorry. Yeah. But that's the kind of thing he was. Like, he's a villain, but he, like, again, he still thinks he's doing good and he's yeah. saving people. Right. So, that's what makes him great. Mm -hmm. And I honestly am not mad at Star-Lord. So many people are like, oh, it's all his fault. Everything that happens is all fault. No. He had a human reaction. To, uh, you know, to be, yeah, to be honest, honest, his human reaction is leading to that one outcome more than likely. So. Exactly. But, Same. so just for me, I, everybody's like, oh, he's the worst now. It's like, no. He's like, who's the real villain? It's like, well, what would you have done if you found out that your love interest was murdered? And you keep, you thought that this person was alive the whole time, not... Think you think, uh, oh, Thanos wouldn't kill her. That's his daughter. He yeah, cherishes he her too much. Mm -hmm. And to find I out, love... holy shit, she's dead. Yep. And all the things they didn't yeah. get to like sort out, like where they stood in the relationship, you know, how they, their feelings to each other. Because they even still have a problem like relaying that to each other every now and then. They had yeah. so many unfinished like questions that Peter didn't know how to react to that. And like, 
it's kind of it was almost expected of his character because yeah, no, he exactly. he doesn't know how to handle his human emotions. Mm -hmm. Like when he feels, he feels. He shut out his mom's death reacting to that for years, well, and that took a while. And then he lashes out mm -hmm. at his uh, at ego and he says, "Shouldn't have put that tumor in, his, in her brain." And he's just like, "What?" And then he just loses it. So judging from that, that dude. judging from that, how can you expect um, him really to do much else? Honestly. I love I love in that moment when speaking of already developed characters. Right. <laughs> Tony Tony is like like uh no it's like don't engage, Quill. We almost have this off. Like Tony knows what he's going through because Tony acted rash when he found out about his mom mm -hmm. with with Buckle. Oh absolutely. So in that moment, he's seeing himself, and he's like, he's like, don't go down that road. Don't do it. Yeah. Many a time, Tony's like, well, not many a time. Like, Tony understands it. He, he's been through that, so I don't blame Peter either. I think that's a natural response for what he did. Yeah. And it's not mm -hmm. fair to him for him to solely put the blame on Peter for everything happening, because Strange already said, there's only one way we win. There's yep. no, like, even if Peter didn't attack him, Thanos probably could have done something to get out of the grip anyway, because Mantis yeah. was barely holding on to right. it. Yeah. Um. They wouldn't even got a fart, so they did it without her. Oh, man. Yeah. I still, still don't, don't think, think they should have gotten as far as they did, but it was so cool, though. He shoots that thing, and it's like this electricity, and then Strange is, like, like grabbing him with these things. things. And then, then Spider-Man's Spider webbing, webbing him, and he's got the legs, legs out. Yeah, yeah, and, yes. And, and, like, he's, he's pulling, pulling the legs, legs out, out, and it's so cool. And speaking of a showcase of what stones, stones can do, um, he uses, <laughs> correct me if I'm wrong, but he uses the reality stone, stone to make a bunch, bunch of bats. And he sends yes. them flying at Tony. Mm. So, did he just sit there and go, oh, a billionaire with a lot of tech, I bet he's afraid of bats. <laughs> Actually, I didn't think of that. That's hilarious. That, Batman reference. I loved, me. I loved the fact that um, Peter Parker, when like when Spider-Man was going through, he was like, he's like, magic! Magic with a kick! Magic right. with a punch! Magic yeah. with a... And he's just <laughs> fighting him like, oh, awesome. thank God. Magic! Magic with a kick! Magic! And then... Chokeslam. Yeah. Um, and then when, like, Doctor Strange, like, splits into, like, a mm. bunch of them. Yeah. Oh, my God. I literally Naruto. thought of experience tranquility. Zenyatta. <laughs> yes, exactly. It was beautiful. Just, all those, um, like, things. Are, that is another thing about this movie. They got Doctor Strange so right. I love the Doctor Strange movie, but I just thought that the magic in that movie was so... Eh. Like... Mm could have been so much more creative with the things where, but, because they're all, basically in that movie, they're creating, like, very human kind of weapons, you know? Right. Like, do more magical shit! Like, do cool magic thingies and stuff, and they did it in this movie, and it's great. Yeah, and I wish in the movie for Doctor Strange that they did more, like you said, more magic-y magic stuff, but mm -hmm. I think I kind of, like, am okay with how that movie went, because I love that movie. Oh, yeah, I love I think I it would, that movie, too. Oh, yeah! No worries. I I still liked it because it's like, well, he was still learning magic yeah. at that point, so right. I think they needed something yeah. for him to like easily latch onto before he went to the other deeper, mm -hmm. more magical, oh, magic stuff. Right. He was he was wearing his gloves, his yellow gloves. His yes. Gloves. Why was he not wearing them in this? That's a good question. Oh, he had them on Thor Ragnarok, and I was like, no, where did the gloves go? So um, we're gonna go to the Wakanda battle. Oh yeah, so oh, yeah. the battle ends with Thanos eventually throwing the upper hand on the uh, team. Beating Tony. Real, real quick, before the Wakanda battle, before that, when they were at the Avengers HQ, the small moment with uh, Bruce and Natasha, mm -hmm. she just, oh, well, he, you're back. You look good. Unresolved. I think that's going to be another chapter they need to go into. But I think Falcon at that moment off. they couldn't really have that private conversation because time was at the essence. Yeah. yeah. And, and Falcon's, Falcon's like, like, this is awkward. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
All right, what kind? Um, what kind? So uh, in Wakanda, we see that the Outriders are uh, coming, and uh, Shuri is working on Vision. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I love how uh, one of the uh, Outrider ships or drop ships like just smashes into the shield, <laughs> just breaks apart. Yeah. And then I think at the point, Bucky's just like, oh, I love this place. Like, oh, before we go deeper into the I... battle, there's a few things that I liked before mm-hmm. too. Like I liked when. Uh, Bruce hasn't met T'Challa yet, so he's walking up with um, Brody, <laughs> and he's like, he's like, oh bow? my god, that's a king? He's like, yeah, he's like, should I bow? Yeah, absolutely. And he bows, and he's just like, what are you doing? He's like, we don't do that here. <laughs> Beautiful. And the, that short, sweet nod between Cap and Bucky when they reunited again. Mm-hmm. Loved it, loved it, loved it. Mm. Um, I love... The I was hoping we would kind of get this with Stark, but I I know it wasn't Stark; it was Banner. So uh, it, it was really quick. But I'm glad that we got to see Shuri be smarter than Banner. <laughs> and then she's like, "Well, why didn't you just attach this to this?" It's like, like we didn't think of it. Well, <laughs> oh, I'm sure I'm sure she did. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> She's so uh, cute. I love Shuri. She's great. No, it's a great oh, moment. Dude, I want to see her on her. Like a shield or something. We're going to need a longer, uh, cord. One her second. Out We're going to need a longer cord. Oh, I got you. Um, <gasps> what? What happened? No, my, my battery is getting low. We have to get a charger. Um, uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm sorry about Leech. Leech. I don't know what the hell the battery, the other battery went. No, that's okay. Um, yeah. So, we kind of... Are we, are we still, still going? Yes, because we are... Uh, we've been going for a little bit here. My goodness, it's almost been an hour. Oh, that's good. So, it's still less than our Star Wars review. So, my bad. That's what, that's what I'm saying. Like we're, we're jumping through some hoops. Um, so, getting the Wakanda no, no battle... No, super long tangents. Yes. Um... We get to the Wakanda battle, uh, they kind of see that the Outriders are getting through, but they're just like basically killing themselves. They're getting through. Um, and then he you know, tells them to open the gate, and my god, I almost lost my shit when Black Panther and Captain America are running side by side. Oh my god! Okay, yes. that, that is what I was going to say earlier, and I was like, I was like, I'll get, we'll get to it. Like, when you see... All these, this huge army just running. Mm. <laughs> and then you just see both <laughs> of them like, running out in front of them. And it's like. I love ah. that so much because they just ran off ahead. And who was that? Oh my god. Killmonger? No, not what? Killmonger. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Jesus, not he, him. He's dead. No, um, Killgrave? Oh, he's dead. He's dead. The, the, the mountain tribe warrior leader. Mbaku? Yes. Oh, Mbaku. Oh my god, just him. He's like, I'm going to stand with you, with the child. Oh yeah, he's like, he's like, I am here, brother. Like, no, thank you. That was beautiful, course, too. Brother. I love their team up. And you just see them running through, and they're fighting, and they opened up the gate, too, to let everyone in, while Vision and Scarlet are up there trying to get him, like, to remove the stone. Right. And uh, <laughs> what a great they moment. Knew the way. Really uh, diverging my expectations when Corvus Glaive, like... Proxima Midnight was fighting um, Scarlet Witch. Mm. Okay. I can never say her name right. What's her name? Yes. Okay. I think so. Okay. Akoye. 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 Yes. I love Akoye. her. Oh Akoye. my god. Akoye. Um and then and then Black Widow Scarlet Yeah, fighting them and there's like uses for for him. And it's like, wow, they yeah. killed him off screen after like an injury? That's kinda lame. And then boom! Secret mission. It's like, oh shit, he's still alive. And then he's just fucking wrecking shit, fighting Shuri and Vision, and they crash down. That was awesome. Oh, so good. Yeah. <laughs> and uh those giant fucking things come out and uh they're just about to kill I think it's about to kill Okoye and Black And then Scarlet Witch is like and she's, and she's like, like what was she doing up there this whole time? Yes, right? Oh my god, so I love that. Um, what an amazing, it felt like a video game. If you, if you follow me, it felt like a video game in the sense of, what a fucking amazing setup. Fighting among fucking, 
um, like a huge giant war, just having this like um, you know staff battle and just buzzsaws <laughs> just flying around. It's like this is yeah. fucking amazing. Like, so much was happening. It's just like, so geez, good. this is great. And then just Scarlet just throws um, her up. And she gets ran over. I'm like, oh, so we good. Talk about the, the marketing, the marketing lying to people. The, uh, Hulk was not in Wakanda. Yes. That shot in the trailer. Where he's running. Where they're all like yes. this. And Hulk's in the background. No. Never happened. I, he, because the uh, banner's in the Hulk buster. And there's a, he's getting attacked by all those things. And I'm like, this is it. I'm like, he's going to bust out as the Hulk right here. He's gonna, and then the happened. He's like, no. Skirt, skirt. I don't want to go Big green asshole. Hey, yeah. <laughs> I was proud of Banner for that up. one. I think he got all his good aggression out. Yeah, he did, and he defeated Black Dwarf by sending him up into the force field. <laughs> just fucking yeah, just wrecking him. That was amazing. Um, <laughs> and then, so just like you said, um, at the end of the um, Titan battle, Thanos gets the upper hand. He does end up getting the Time Stone. So there's only one thing left mm -hmm. to do. He goes to Wakanda, he, where well, they're almost yeah, he, finished. Well, um. Real quick, before that, he, he stabs Tony. Right. <gasps> oh my he's, god! He's, yeah. He stabs Cause... Tony, and Tony's like willing to die right there. Yeah. And Strange is like, spare him, I'll give you this, you know? Yeah. And then a lot of people are like, why do you to do it? It's because that one outcome. Because earlier in the movie, he says, I don't care what happens, I'll let the kid in and yeah. die. Like, and, then, and then all of a sudden, sudden he's like, never mind, mind I'll let him live, live, and I'll give yeah. him the stone for it, too. So, so obviously, obviously, the one outcome he saw, he saw Tony was alive. Mm -hmm. And it, it requires and Tony, Tony in some way, shape, or form. form. So, so you have I agree before. with you there. Yeah, no, I totally agree. I remember a, a lot of speculation before this movie regarding the major character deaths. People assumed, like, one or two people were going to die. And, but the main ones that people were like, all right, Infinity War. Either it's going to be Cap or it's going to be Tony. Yep, and so when he got stabbed, I was praying. I like Everyone was like clenching their seat, just trying to brace themselves for what's yet to come. I'm holding... they remember you. Yeah, no, I'm crying already. I'm like, here it is. This is what we've been building up to. It's fine. We like, told what? ourselves this is going to happen. He's going to do it. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, he... Dr. Strange is like, no, here's a stone. We're like, what? 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 And then I'm like, what? waiting what for it he... still. Like, okay, he's going to uh... give him the stone. And Thanos is going to be like, all right, he still dies. Uh, I was yeah, just... what did he uh, heal, heal himself, himself with? It was that spray was stuff. It, was it yeah. the nanotech yeah. stuff? I think so. I think so. I but he sprayed himself with to, like, suppress the wound. Yeah. So, like, and then Thanos weird. left, I'm like, oh, he's still alive. Yay, he's still alive. Yes. Holy shit, he's going to Earth. You know who's on Earth? Earth? Cap. Yeah. Cap's on Earth. So I start freaking out, like, nope, it's Cap. He yeah. had his opportunity with Tony. It's Cap. It's here it comes. Um, so, yeah. Yep. And, then, yep. um, and, and during, during the, the, uh, during the Wakanda battle, battle sorry, sorry, there's a clock going off. You're good. Um, during, during the Wakanda, Wakanda battle, battle, uh, Ru uh, Bucky, Bucky picks, picks up, up Rocket. Rocket. <gasps> we gotta, we gotta talk about that whole entrance. Oh my god! Yes, I didn't exactly. see that coming. So, <laughs> fucking, oh shit! That fucking <laughs> <arrow> comes out. <coughs> Strike, and then just the best shot of Thor, Rocket, and, and Groot, and everybody, everybody in the theater. In the theater. That, was that was the biggest, biggest like crowd thing in the theater. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Whistling. And then bring me that house. Yeah. And then you just. I love the shot from behind when they were, the three of them are running into the battle. It's one of my favorite shots of anything ever. And then, ah, oh, I see you copied my beard. <laughs> He's like, I see you cut your hair. Oh, nice haircut. I see you copied my beard. This is my friend. This is my friend. I am Groot. Steve was so I am cute. Steve Rogers. That was the most purest thing. He's just like, I am Groot. He goes. I but am yeah. Steve Rogers. <laughs> so I was thinking about but then, it. But then, but then Bucky, Bucky picks up Rocket. Rocket. Yeah, get some, get some. How, how much, much for the, the uh, how much for the gun? It's not for sale. How much for the arm? 
walks away. <laughs> He's just like, I'll, I'll get that arm. <laughs> oh, I'll get that arm. Um, yeah, amazing His arm? Well, away. Away. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. It's interesting. Um, yeah, great entrance, great... The, the battle was amazing. I can't... So many things to go over. But, um... Yeah. So, the... The children are dead at this point, but then... Yeah, they all died. Yep. Uh, I wasn't expecting that. Exactly. So they I are... Kinda, I uh, wanted Squidward to live. Yes. They're all gone. Um, and then Thanos arrives. They're all trying to stop him because, you know... Vision's exactly. like, Vision. you, Vision's like, you know what? Just, I, you can't let him have it. You can't let him have it. Oh, my yeah. God. The biggest, like... Oh, there was a... Excuse me. Wow. <laughs> There was a yeah, lot of um, big scenes in this movie. Mm -hmm. I, I can, obviously, I think the biggest part was the end, but the big scene, one of the big ones was when, as Thanos is coming, and everyone's like, hurry to Vision, hurry to Vision, like, to protect them, and they're all there. Thanos shows up, we're like, holy shit, holy shit, and the music is intensifying, and mm -hmm. everyone's trying to stop, and he's just throwing people left and right. He doesn't care. Yeah. And... Yep. When Vision tells Scarlet, you have to destroy me. Mm -hmm. Oh. My shipping heart broke, and it was just devastating because she didn't want to lose another person close to her because she already lost Quicksilver. Yeah. And it was hard for her to get close to anyone after that. And you kind of saw a little bit of that in Civil War. Yeah. And even then, she's like, she got close to Vision. They fought. And it. It's, it's crazy, crazy how powerful she is, too. Yeah, exactly. But it was just so sad because she's killing him and she's also trying to like fight off Thanos because he like he's coming after Steve and everyone I think he's gonna die and he goes like that and then just just like ah like trying to like stop him. Yeah. Um and then she does it. She kills him. She kills him. But oh unfortunately. I think in the moment everyone in our theater forgot he got the time stone. Yeah, kinda. I didn't. I knew it was coming. I like, didn't. I forgot. I was so shocked of like, he's dead. At least he can't do it anymore. And then all of a sudden you see the thumb like, no! And then he just like rewinds it. Dude. Vision dies. He's dead. Twice. Twice. Yeah. Twice. That's what's fucked up. He dies twice. Then, oh, dude, it's so fucking graphic. Like, he's taking it out and then you just see his fingers dig into his head. Yeah. And then his whole body goes limp and turns like silver and gray. Right. All the lights gone, all the colors gone. That was rough. That was rough. God, I was a mess at that point. I'm like, gosh, damn it! And like, I'm crying, and all of a sudden, Thor. Out of fucking nowhere. The only death I cried at was the more. It's the only one that really got me. What? But yeah, Thor. Oh, what? yeah. No, no, he just got, he has all the stones, and all of a sudden Thor comes in. Right in the chest. Yeah. I thought he was done. I was like, oh my gosh. The They're like, we did it! We did it! I love, <laughs> I love that the general public who aren't into comics and stuff, you know, like, don't see any of the shit coming in. I, love, I also love that Thanos is a household name now. Yes, like, he is. Who was it? Who was it? Somebody said... I have been John. I don't remember. Somebody said, was like, yeah, my dad, who's not into, like, comics or something at all, was, uh, texted me and just goes, fuck Thanos. <laughs> like, <laughs> I, 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 it might not have been John. I don't remember who it was. It was somebody. <laughs> somebody that said that. But, yeah. <laughs> I think that was just great, honestly, just when Thor comes in. And, again, I'm not... I love the Marvel movies, and I'm reading some Marvel comics, not a lot, because I don't know a lot from it, because it's been a great experience learning more about Marvel. So I didn't see that coming when Thor's just like, ha! And it's just like, holy shit, we did it! We did it! And Thor's like, I told you, you would pay for that. I'm like, this is it! And then he's just like, you should have went for the head. And he's gone. Oh, dude. And that look on Thor's face before he, right before he does it, like, yeah. Uh, and everybody, everybody like, like, there was, I heard some chick in the back, back going, um, holy crap, like, before, before, right before you did it, it. 
and, and the whole, like, the, like, the white screen, and the, and the whole theater, theater just goes silent. silent. I literally, I like, like, it happened, like, I got, like, a chill down my, like, spine, dude. Like, like it was, I was sweating. sweating, it was tense. I literally, seeing the movie twice, as soon as he disappeared, he's gone from Earth, everyone went silent. Like, no one said anything in our theater, everyone just, like, holding their breath, and you could feel it, and... Even though I knew it was coming, too, the second yeah. time when I watched it, that scene when he, as soon as he disappears after Thor tried attacking him, I was like, that's how such great acting that that is. And it's just like, I'm holding my breath like, I know it's coming, I but need, Jesus, this I is... I need to see the shit in IMAX, dude. Like, um, and then right after that, like, right after the snap, he's in the Soul Stone realm thing yes. with... So there's hope, people. There's yes. hope. There is. I hope I so. so. I did. What did it cost? Everything. Everything. And he's... <sighs> he's, 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 like, so upset, upset but, he's but he's also, also like, like, I did it. Like, like he's more happy. happy. And... I'll talk, I'll talk about... about yeah, I'll talk about that in a second. Well, let's get to the next book. God. So we're in the theater, and Thanos just is like sitting there in paradise watching everything with the reality stone, I assume, just in bliss. We cut back to Earth, and everyone's still holding their breath. Because we're like, what the fuck just happened? What oh, yeah, is the, going on? The, ga the, the, the gauntlet looked all smashed up. Yeah. Like, does the gauntlet just. Done. <coughs> I assume the gem is still work fine, but yes. the gauntlet is just... Do you need to get another one? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Maybe. It's, it's hard to tell, because it's like, holy shit, well, he did what he needed to, so why would he need the gauntlet still? Or then he had to go back to yeah. Peter Dinklage and get it fixed? It's hard to say. I would have just used the all power of the gauntlet to make the gauntlet invincible. Um, but yeah. yeah, so we, we don't, we're holding our breath wondering what was going to happen, and then... First was Bucky. People started disappearing. First was Steve. Bucky. Drops gun. I think that's what everyone's like, wait, what? Yeah. Everyone stopped holding their breath like, what the fuck, like, no! Then the yeah. next one... Come, this is not the place to die. It's like this is not where the place to die, and then T'Challa <laughs> disappears. Yeah. By the way, that movie, that movie that just made and broke box office records, and this is Lightning Hero. By the way, this beat that box office. Oh, and Black Panther's dead. <laughs> honestly, <laughs> honestly, when Black Panther went, everyone rioted what? in our movie. Like, what the fuck? And like, no! is no one safe? And then. uh and then Rhodey's looking for Sam as he... Sam's like, gone. Sam, where are you? He's gone. And then you see... I am Groot. Scarlet Root. Oh my god, Groot. Did you see that tweet? Dad. His, His last words. words. Dad. Dad. I started crying again when I read that. I'm... Hmm. Trying to... Uh, oh. I rewatched... I rewatched that scene a few times. It's, it's rough. And then, uh, Scarlet Witch, she went up, and then Vision's body, whatever was left of it, got taken up too. I don't remember that. You don't remember that? I think he's just dead. No, no, no it didn't. didn't. Yeah, he's it didn't? Dead. Oh, I probably was like, blind because I was sobbing so hard. The, yeah, he was just the, the final shot of Cap is him over Vision's body. Mmm, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, I think I was, I was, looking at it and I was sobbing too hard to remember. And so then we cut to Titan. <gasps> Mantis is all something's happening. And then oh shit! We forgot to mention Nebula. She showed up at the last second on Titan and was helping everyone. Yeah, that's cool. Dude, it, it, it would have been. been I'm, I'm such an idiot. It would have been. <laughs> Max, could you imagine if like he was by himself when it happened? He's like, I am turning invisible. Oh man. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, that's fucked up. <laughs> that would have been... Uh, 
Sorry. Yeah, then we so we see Drax and Mantis and Drax. They go and then all Steady of a sudden Steady. Quill. Steady Quill. Yeah. He's like, oh. Oh yeah. man, and he disappeared, and oh man, everyone was like sc screaming on the TV, pretty much screaming in the theater, oh, like, yeah. you took all the Guardians. Like it's someone, I think, in our theater screamed, like, there's no one left, and yeah, like. That's like and then like it went to strange and he's like this is the only way this is the only way yeah. Yeah. i was sobbing so hard in that movie theater that the first time i watched it i didn't realize dr strange got disintegrated as well nobody did i went mm -hmm. to uh, my buddy rick and he's like and i'm like yeah when we were counting how many people were left and he was like i was like dr strange he's like no he didn't i'm like yeah and he's just like remember and he's just like oh i just blocked it out of my mind because it's so Horrible. It's the only way. It's so horrible. Um, and then I didn't realize it till the second time I watched it. I'm like, wait, he died, and I was so upset. And then the thing that broke me. That broke everyone. Yes. If we're being honest. I don't feel so good. You're fine, kid. You're fine. No, I feel so good. It's just dark. I don't want to go. I don't want to go. Hmm. <sighs> Billy! Oh, fuck. My yeah, dude was died sobbing. feeling his spider sense gave him intense fear as well as feeling like he failed his quote unquote dad. That broke everyone. Just. I remember I'm just sobbing. sitting next to you and you were heavily upset. Sobbing. Gargana's next to me heavily upset. I hear Brianna down the row heavily upset. I look over and Nikki and Christy are all crying and like Joey's in awe staring at the screen and Avalon's just like staring with this such intensity that I've never seen before on her face and just like what the fuck is happening and I have two blubbering messes on my sides. I'm like I'm just gonna hold them because I'm a blubbering mess too. My god and like they just killed him and everyone Oh man. Civil uh Civil War Spider Man's like you know, you have these powers and you don't do anything about it. That's on you. And then in Homecoming he's like when he's when he's, he's lecturing and like he's like, Yeah, but if you die, that's on me. Like and then is this we exactly that? And he's he's left there and it's just him and Nebula. Yeah. yeah, it's just him and Nebula up on Titan, and then you go back on Earth. It inspired a great new uh, internet game. <laughs> Damn. Um, I, I'll see a lot of people saying, "How is, how is Tony gonna get off that plane?" Yes, I was just thinking about Nebula. Probably gonna find somehow so to get him do off. You, do, do you remember that Tony Stark was stuck in a cave by himself? <laughs> They're gonna get back to Earth. Dude, how'd you get off Titan? I was able to build this on a planet with a box of scraps! Tony Stark moved in this in a cave. Yes. I, I yeah, think Nebula so. will hit, give him a ride back to Earth. I think that's. Yeah. That'll happen. That, that, or Thor will pick him up or something. I don't know. Dude. I, uh, by the way, I, I love, love that, that shot of Nebula. It's just, just a wide, wide shot, shot with her in the middle, middle, and you see Titan in the background, and you see, like, like just this dark somberness and, like, lightning in the background. She's just, like, yeah. Like, it's such a cool-looking shot. Mm -hmm. Then you um, cut back to yeah. everyone else on Earth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You cut back to them, and they're just all like, what the fuck? And you just see them all together, and then, black. That's it. Yeah, and he, Cap says, Cap says, oh, God. Cause, uh, cause, uh, Rhodey's like, what's happening? And then, as soon as that happens, he's like, oh god. And oh god, wait. The, last, the, very the very last shot is Thanos. Thanos. Like you said, he's like, so it's, 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 it's kind of, it's almost a callback to the, cause he's got his armor up on the wall. It's almost a callback to when he's like, Farmer Thanos in the, in the comics, yeah. when he's like a farmer and he puts his armor up as like a scarecrow, but. That would have been crazy to see, but, but yeah, he's just, 
the score is so, so <clears throat> good, and he's like smiles, and then credits, credits and it's just the, the whole thing, thing felt so classy. Yeah. Just the ending, dude. Uh, Everyone was cursing. Credits. Didn't the title in the credits like fade, fade away? Too? Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Uh, it wasn't like a traditional ending of Marvel where they have these bright colors and like there's homages to like all the people that were played. Nope, it was all black, yeah. just their names. I can't, Nothing I can't colorful. Wait to see the title. Can we see the title of the next movie? Like, what's, what's it, it gonna be? You know, right. and how they're gonna market it to the general public. I need to know, cause like the way it ended, everyone was so pissed. I was like, "Fuck you, Thanos." Fuck you! And like the credits yeah. are rolling, it's still pretty somber music. Yep. And then at the very and end, it's no like Thanos will return. return. It's Thanos. just like, well, Thanos fuck Thanos you, Thanos. Return. And there's no, there's no mid credit scene either. Nope. Like, like, oh, and that brings I, us also, to the last really, after credit scene. Yes. I really wanted, by the way, I really wanted to stick around, stick around and be Thanos as like an advisor. <laughs> that, that would get so cool if he stuck around. Like, what if? Dude, could you imagine if he stuck around and was the main villain of the next movie? <sighs> That'd be nuts. If it was? Um, Red Skull. Red Skull. Oh. Gotcha. Yeah. That'd be insane. So we wait this whole time in the movie theater. No mid-credit scene. We're all just sitting there, upset still. After-credit scene. Nick Fury. Go ahead, lead this off one, Alex. Okay, so we cut to somebody we haven't seen in a while, Nick Fury and um, Agent Hill, driving through, and all of a sudden, a uh, car crashes, and they realize people are disappearing. Weren't they? And they were talking about Wakanda, right? Didn't they say something about Wakanda? Or they said something about, they said something like, where's Stark? And then I think they said something about Yeah, they were talking, where's Stark? Or is he? Something mm, about yeah, they were. Um, I'll have to watch the scene again. No, they were talking about that, and all of a sudden stuff starts crashing, and then um, Agent Hill disappears. I didn't then, see that shit coming. Yeah, right? And then all of a sudden, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. Fury is Dude, gone. He can, he can not make any movie without at least attempting to say, motherfucker. Um, and we saw that movie Hitman's Bodyguard, and we counted how many times he said it. Um, oh, Hitman's Bodyguard, yeah. Um, and they're making a sequel too. Yes. Oh, they are. Yeah, it's the Hitman's Wife's Bodyguard. Oh my god. Oh my god. Um, <laughs> and then right before he, he disappears, he does get a call off to Captain Marvel. <laughs> uh, so we're gonna give our final thoughts, and then I'll ask you for your final score out of ten. Who do you want to go first? Billy. Uh, this is a great movie, really great movie. Mm -hmm. Great culmination of the last ten years, and uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing how it plays out. I hope none of those characters come back to life. Um, just kidding. I, just kidding. I, I, plus, we know that for sure, Spider-Man and Black Panther are not gonna fight it. And no. then you know, Chris Pratt let it, let slip the other day. On Instagram, I'm like, I can't, I can't wait, wait to film Guardians 3. 3. Oh. Well, okay. <laughs> Good to know. Um, if I had to give it Infinity War, Infinity Score, Infinity out of a million. Fantastic. The best. Infinity out of 14 million. Fantastic. Alright. It, it was great. Yeah. yeah. Great. So good. I think this movie blew all my expectations out of the water from the beginning opening to the ending leaving you questioning everything and just Captain Marvel coming and all the characters, their roles that they played within it, big or small, they were all important and they were vital to it. Mm, I think the story flowed really well. All the characters for the amount of screen time that they got with how large of a cast they had. Mm -hmm. I think they did so well balancing everyone having a part 
and the character development definitely showed in this based on all their past movies. Absolutely. It was such a great movie, and I think Marvel took some definitely big risks. Yeah, no, very risky movie. And I think they handled it very well, especially because they kept everything so tight-lipped about this movie. And until you mm -hmm. saw it, it was just like, wait, did that really yeah. just happen? Mm -hmm. So, in the words of Billy, my Infinity score for Infinity War is... Definitely a 10 out of 10. More than that. It broke the scale because I was so distraught after it, but after my emotions kind of calmed down and I actually thought about the movie before and saw it that second time, I have so much respect for everything they did. Such a great movie. Please go see it. Except, you know, they could have had Ant-Man just get in Thanos' ear and then grow. But, you know. What can you do? <laughs> Maybe it'll be in the next one. So, um, yeah, I thought this was a magnificent movie. Um... Actually, so I feel like it's not just a movie, but it's just a, an, an event, I would call it, because it's just a culmination mm -hmm. of so many, uh, so, like, years and differing movies where differing characters had differing, um, you know, they were in, in and out, you know, it's not just one person's story, it's all of theirs together mm -hmm. coming to a head, and uh, I'm really glad that, that Thanos had such a formidable, formidable uh, presence in the movie and he ultimately won a lot of people are saying that he is the main character and uh, to an extent they're correct but you know it's everybody's story yeah. but um and you know at the end how they say thanos will return like what a shot yeah. <laughs> to the heart what a shot uh but and you're too late, darling you give love a bad name <laughs> Ow. um sorry okay <laughs> billy and i the children in this relationship i understand so, um, yeah, Children seriously, just Thanos. amazing CG on Thanos as well. Like, I think somebody said I didn't even think see him as a CG CG um, character. He felt just like a... Oh, yeah, groundbreaking. He felt just like he was there, like, right in your face. Mm -hmm. And then his hands are on his face. Oh, yeah. So good. It, it all looks really beautiful. Well done. And every villain has a part to play, and they're all really, um, you know, terrifying. They're scary. Let's go. Um, and yeah, definitely great to see Marvel really go the extra mile and kind of connect it all together. You know, uh, hopefully they can do that with some TV properties, but we'll see. But um, really yeah, great to yeah. see it. they do really it. do it. Do it. <laughs> but yeah, seriously, amazing movie. Ten out of ten. All right, Avengers four. Earth, like Earth based movie, and maybe, I don't know. The Avengers are fighting their way, you know, they gotta get to something, get to Thanos, whatever, what have you, something, but there's an obstacle in the way, there's these enemies, like shit, these things will stop attacking, we can't get through. All of a sudden, uh, you see this blast hand over, and it's chasing the runaways. You go! You go! Yeah! We'll <laughs> <laughs> Do that. Chasing them. With cloak and dagger. With cloak and dagger. <laughs> they send out a message to all of Earth. We need your help. And it's just all the defenders, the runaways, shield. Cloak and dagger. Cloak and dagger. Everyone. Gathering together. We must help. I... Real quick, Everyone's I'm just so nervous about Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. We just watched episode 20. So, at this point, we are fully caught up. Episode 21 comes out this Friday. By the time you watch this, it probably already came out. I'm so nervous for what's going to happen in that show. The effects of Infinity War affecting these shows. Especially Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Because it is directly associated with that. So, it's like, okay, who's, dis who's disappearing? Who is fading? Deke. Who is... No. Dude. I'll lose Deke my shit. Deke vanishes. Oh, I guess we fixed the timeline. I'm gonna die if he does. Uh, oh yeah, I mentioned this. I, had to, I think I mentioned this to Jordan and Demolition earlier. I don't remember if you were there, uh, Alex. Alex. Yeah, when they go to the future, Yo Yo, future Yo Yo, she says something to herself. She says uh, something like, "I was on fire, and then I reached for Mac, and nothing's there." Yep, he's gonna go. 
No. So no. No. You gone, girl? No, I am not emotionally Just ready for that. No. That is a possibility. No. That you, that you might, might have, have to prepare, prepare for. I am not preparing for it because guess what? I call bullshit because that ain't gonna happen. And if it happens, I quit. You can't quit. I no, I quit. not no, not Mac. No, he's Thank been through too much. He's the original. <laughs> he joined on in season two, and he's the only one that stayed since then because they got rid of Lincoln. Bobby is gone. Hunter Shot barely came legs. back for one episode, but then he's gone. Mac's the only one who stayed out of all those people who joined in on season two. Please do not get rid of him. Okay. Sorry. And then Defenders. I don't know if they're going to reference this event. Please, God. What did you picture? <laughs> it's going to be like Spy Kids 3, but better. Where they're, where they're like, where they're like, everyone's your family. They're going to be like, everyone's an Avenger. And then Punisher's just shooting aliens. And uh, Jessica Jones is punching them in the face. And Luke Cage is not doing anything while they hit him and die. And it's going to be... Amazing. And then, oh, dude, uh, Iron Fist versus the Gauntlet. <gasps> oh, like that shot alone would be awesome. Absolutely. Okay, guys. That'd be amazing. Thank you so much for joining us on this journey. We will advise you that our reviews are quite a uh, quite an experience, but we have to let all of our uh, emotions out and let you know what we thought because it was a great movie. Yeah, it really was. Let us know below in the comments if you have seen the movie, which if you watch this whole movie review, I'm sorry, we told you to leave if they, to avoid spoilers. spoilers. Yeah, so it's but, in the title. So. But um, if you guys have seen the movie, please comment below what you guys thought, what your theories are for Avengers 4 and what you think may come to the effects of the other Marvel shows that are in play. Thank you so much for Billy for joining us with this Infinity War review. Thank you, sir. Hey, y'all. Hey, yourself. Well, the rubber band. Subscribe to him also. Show him some love. Nah, dude, I suck. Don't do that. His channel will be in the description. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And we will see you next time.